Traders, it's Anthony here. This is going to be a tutorial on our trading strategy. This is a, a live trade. It's one that uh, I sent into VIP a few moments ago. Treat this as a tutorial. This is a trading plan that you can use and I'll cover everything you need in this one video to be able to be a successful, profitable, independent trader. First things first, we have trade alerts that go off and we've got this cluster here. These alerts go off over here in the uh, alerts log. If you set them up on a 15 minute time frame, and I won't go into that into the video, I've done videos on how to set the alerts, but it's a trend channel alert. You want cloud break one, and this one here is cloud break two. Set the alerts up on anything you want to trade, and then we wait for the alerts to fire. They fire in here, you open that up, and you'll see the alerts. Click on the alert and you'll come into the chart. Okay, now what you're looking for is exactly this. First up, 15 minute chart. Does it tick the check boxes? Okay, alerts fired. Is it trending on the one hour? Yeah, we can see that. It's trending above the cloud. This is the breakout of the cloud, so that's ticked. Do we have a green bar under? Yep, we do. That's ticked. So we can then look to trade this on a Fibonacci retrace into the 50%. Now that's one thing. This is speculation. It's just trading that with a uh, limit buy if you like. Fib retrace, swing low to swing high. All right, and you can see the 50% right here. Okay, it pulled right through it. So that's that. The basic check boxes stack up or they're ticked. Just remember what I mentioned before on uh, the higher time frame. We're looking for this. We're looking for a trend, one hour, four hour, and we're looking for the retrace. So consider this a four hour. We want to get in at this point here, and that's what we've got. Now you can trade the dot. That's getting a bit adventurous, or you can wait for the Fibonacci pullback. 15 minute chart, and this here aligns okay let's just check it out and see if that's the case on the four hour what does it look like on the four hour we'll grab that and we'll mark our point of interest here and let's go out this chart in the middle is the four hour there's our point of interest this low to high pull back there's an entry this low to high pull back and there's an entry so we're looking for the the retrace on the four hour time frame think of the trend I mean this is a picture perfect trend but that's what we're looking for and then this entry here we buy stop loss below the previous low that kind of thing so we've got our stop loss below the previous low our entry point is here now let's go down to the five minute chart in fact before we do you want to establish that the four hour is trending up so let's just quickly look at that okay clearly trending up you want to establish that well the one hour I mean this is a picture perfect setup the one hour is trending up there it is and you want to establish that the daily time frame is bullish and you want to establish that yes we've got a bullish trend in the day on the daily we break above these highs and our next port of call see look at this congestion through here this is a big level through here but we're breaking through it guys now if we break above this we could set a target up in here because we've got this gap to trade through this is where you're going to find resistance right so we could in fact extend out I mean if we do break above and we get to pull our stop loss to break even we could let it go and see if we can reach this target up here let's have a look and see what that looks like on the 15 minute yeah look at that okay so that would give us if this plays in our favor right here's my risk reward tool that gives us a four to five R right so let's see if we gain a bit of ground with this we pull our stop loss to break even above these levels here now once we crack that, you know, that could be a thing. So stop loss to break even when we hit these levels and we, we break above here. Possibly, you know, I mean, I tend to close everything at the end of the week. So that that might happen, okay? I tend to close everything at the end of the week due to the fact that we usually see on Friday some really aggressive stop hunts that they traded in the opposite direction. Anyway, we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. Now, if you're looking for a precise entry, go down to the five minute. See this? All right, look at this pullback, guys. This is the pullback. Okay, if we scrunch it up, right, there's our 15 minute. There's our 15 minute chart or 30 minute chart, the pullback. 
for a precise entry, and I've been mentioning this in my videos, you want to see this starting to set up on the five minute time frame. Okay, remember what we're doing, trend. Okay, we're getting in on this pullback and we want to catch the rotation. Well, this gives you the rotation. Stop run, signal here, and this one is a break, a break north bullish of this trend. Okay, break of structure on the on the lower time frame. So we look for that. And this is orange shaded zone is the Asian kill zone. That's another video, but you know, you can look for these opportunities through this blue shaded zone or the orange and, and the uh, white shaded zone. This is the Asia, this is London, and this is the New York. These are kill zones, the ICT kill zones. So we're looking for this now on the, let's just drop the shade of this back a bit so we can see what we're doing. All right, we want this rotation, rotation into support. All right, it's trending down, red bars. We get the breakout, so there's a shift in character here the trend okay chalk this one's actually heading into a break of structure see how we're still trading in the cloud you can see the cloud here okay so we're within the we're within the cloud now the break out of the cloud will give us a break of market structure so i got in a bit early here this is a shift in the trend this is a change in character in other words we break above you know this level here that's the first break breakout one and the next triangle that forms is going to be breakout number two and the other thing you want to be doing is you want to be trading away from support and resistance. All right, have a look here. Our indicators are giving us this previous monthly high. Okay, so it's hit that, it's rejected off that. Well, it's you know, reacting off that. The other thing that you have here is a yellow line. So you want to notice these levels, right? Have a look. See this yellow line? That's a previous weekly high or low. Now you can mark that up. Uh, daily, I should say. Yellow is daily. Uh, orange is weekly. That we've got this monthly, this white dotted line, the monthly level, and a previous daily. So it's hit that. That's your support zone. Mark it up if you like. Look back. Okay, these highs here have react, reacted off it as well. So I'm marking up the range between, right, narrow it down a little bit. We'll pick up just this thin candle here. Okay, so there's a level that we can pull through there. And you can see the yellow and the white line. All right, now I give this 80, 90% probability factor can it turn around and go the other way yes smart money does manipulate the markets and they will get aggressive especially into the end of the week but that's what to look for guys and i've mentioned this so many times in different videos the higher time frame support level is here it's trending down you can see the red bars and now they turn green and you get the breakout pull back and there's your entry point okay this is a trading plan now the other thing you want to do with this is manage risk so we'll just cover that quickly now we're just going to go out to this chart here 15 minute all right this is a 15 minute time frame stop loss i'm going under this previous low and that stacks up with the 30 minute as well as the one hour but um i'm going with the stop i'm looking at this price swing high retrace and i mentioned in previous videos stop it, uh, under the previous low and go for a minimum of 2r so we've set this up at 2r now you could go 1.5 R if you like, but have a look left as well and just see what you've got in terms of key levels of support and resistance. And the other thing you can do is click the accumulation distribution and just see what that pulls through. Okay, nothing on this time frame. Let's go to a 30 accumulation distribution. That will help pick up some of these levels. Okay, so it's, it's picked up this level here and it coincides with our target. I tend to turn it off and switch it on when I need it and take it off because it scrunches up the chart and it's picking up a lot of data okay now risk management this is really important this will make or break you as a trader please take notes with this guys this risk here needs to be consistent now start off 0.1 percent of your account and that could be a 20 dollar risk okay on any given day but but keep it consistent so whatever you're trading go in at 0.1 percent across the board now if you lose confidence You've had a couple of losers and you're not so happy, okay? Just go down to 0 0.01 lots and trade that until you start winning again. And then your confidence will increase. Then go back to 0.1% position size, okay? Not lots. 1% of your, 0.1% of your account. When you see consecutive wins, bump it up, okay? So you just increase that, then maybe that goes to $30 risk per trade. You're seeing more consecutive wins, okay, keep bumping it up and, uh, you know, your risk then becomes 40 or $50.
However, it works for you on your account in terms of dollar value, okay? You hit a losing streak, repeat the process, go back to... Uh, the idea is to keep trading your plan, but don't stop trading. And I've mentioned this in a risk management video. What will happen is if you have a losing streak, you lose a lot of confidence and, well, you can. And you don't, you know, you don't want to place a trade. You're too scared. If you're trading live money now, that'll happen. But the idea is to go in with, I mean, that's no minimal to no risk at all, 0 0.01. Lots. Keep trading it, build your confidence, and then, you know, start to increase. You've got to be disciplined with this, guys, and be consistent. So if today you're trading at 0.2% of your account, we'll keep that consistent through the whole day. Pull your stop loss to break even once you crack 1R, and I think that pretty well wraps it up. Okay, guys, with that, save this video watch it over and over again this is everything you need to know to develop your trading plan and come out on top so with that i hope you have a great day safe trading and we'll see you in the next one